guys! Hello everybody! Hello you! Welcome to my channel, Grace Art. And today, this is gonna be a little month report of the things that I made for the month of January. And this is gonna be like a little Etsy shop update too. So hang on there guys and let's see what I made for this month. So guys, it is again the end of January and I was like thinking that I will just like for every month I will create a video that I will just show you all of the things that I created for every month at the end of the month. And I was actually surprised that I um, made a lot of things even though I was so busy with my work. But now, I'm just going to show you what the things that I made. And as you can see, these are the things that I made already. But I'm going to show you first my bumblebees. So these are the bumblebees that I made. So it looks like this. I hope you can really see it. Looks like that. Okay, and the other one looks also like this. They're a bit different from each other. This one I use Hope by Robin. Um pattern and this one I already forgot on the name of the pattern that I use but I'm just going to put her link down below so you can check it out also if you want to to see it so I use like um, I think this is like the Amigo Chunky yarn from Hobby and it just really looks so pretty so this bumblebee is already on my Etsy shop. If you like it, just you know, just visit it. And this is actually like um, I think um, 70, 19 centimeters big or something. And it is just so fluffy and very soft. And it is just made from acrylic yarn. So both of these are just made from acrylic yarn. So the thing that I'm going to show you next is this um, little jellyfish that I made. Looks like this. Look at the colors. Um, I use I think the pink sand color from yarn and colors and also the yellow color from the yarn. This is like 100% mercerized cotton that I used. And the uh, eyes, I just got it from Amazon, so it really looks like this. This is actually a custom order, so I'm going to give it to her after um, some uh, when I meet her, actually. <laughs> so um, this is what it looks like. So I just made some 10 pentacles, and yeah, it was just actually cool. And I got the pattern from Whimsical Stitches from Lauren SP. So I'm also gonna put the link down below on her website so you can actually check it out also for this um, little cute pattern. So that's it. It looks like that. The next thing that I got or the next thing that I made is this one. The baby Yoda. <laughs> it looks like this. So, looks like that. It's so cute, the baby Yoda. I got the pattern from my best friend. Um, she gave me it as a gift. So, I just tried it out. Um, this one, I took, I think, two or three days because it is a very detailed pattern. And at the same time, I wasn't really like very sure about the eyes yet because I find it a bit small. So the next time that I'm going to make a baby Yoda, I think I'm going to make it like in, instead of like this is a 6mm, I'm going to use an 8 or 10mm eyes just to try it out. So it will really look like um, little baby Yoda. So it is like that. So this one I also use um, from Yarn and Colors Must Have, also the 100% Mercerized Cotton. So um, it gives a little bit of shine and sturdiness on the on the um, Amigurumi toy. So the next thing that I made actually are another set of scrubbies because I sold the face scrubbies already from uh, the past months. So I was thinking to make another set so these are my face scrubbies 
it looks like this this is the soft gray color looks like that so if you can see here I just used the double crochet and at the same time the puff stitches and uh, I used the uh, half double crochet stitches on this um, border so it looks like this so I just made two colors that is the soft gray and uh, if I am correct this is the color adventurine so it looks like this so I made like a lot from adventurine I just finished the whole yarn so it really looks like that and the other one is from this one also so it looks like this so I also use um, from yarn and colors but this is from the favorite like that so must have and favorite are a bit different from each other because this one is just really pure 100% cotton and this one is just really soft to use for your face and last but not the least I have this one this is a pillow and this is what we call the basket with um, stitch and it looks like this like that so you can see there's like four rows of stitches on each um, row or something like that so and this one is from um, Hook Wavy Blends, the name of the yarn that I use from this one. And if you can see, it is such a beautiful um, pillow because the color is just from very light blue and transitioning to a darker shade of blue until it comes back to the lighter shade of blue. So with this pillow, I also included um, two buttons where I can just like open this up like this and then um, you know I can just pull out the pillow and wash it um, all together so I was just thinking to just put it like that so and the yarn is actually like um, also cotton and at the same time like it is also out of recycled um, fabrics so it is just nice plus the feel to it is just very um, soft and at the same time it is just like really for a pillow so I would recommend that yarn actually for making this kind of pillow so like that so guys, those were the things that I made for the month of January. So I made this pillow and also, of course, our little bumblebees are here and other things, most especially also this one. Our cute Yo Yoda, <laughs> baby Yoda. So I made those things within a month. And then for the month of February, I'm also going to make this kind of video so you can see how many projects I made. And if you enjoyed this video, of course, please don't forget to subscribe and like or share it with your families and friends. And again, thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time and bye-bye!